All right, so today is the 21st of July. As you can see, it's 9.05 local time. Now, yesterday we had a nice breakout here, as you can see, market moved up to that line and then they sold off again. So this was logical. I also noted that on Twitter, right? I did say, that's one thing. Okay, I said, the goodbye cook kiss is cooking. All right, so I said this 17 hours ago, so that was at 3.39 p.m. my time. Let's say 4 p.m. my time. Okay, that's the 4 p.m. bar. All right, because we had a big, um, big um, event in the sky on Tuesday, and I did say it was going to get really volatile this week. And that's the five o'clock bar. So that was, I did say also look out for the US session. Big downfall, goodbye kiss, retest of the low of today, moving back up. So we should be, we should be moving back up at least until 12.48, okay? And it's nine o'clock there, here. So if we break above, right? So I don't know if it'll break above yet, but if this thing does break above the weekly pivot, okay, then we might kind of get back in here. Okay, so on the four hour, nice full, okay, retest. So you can see, we might just start moving back up again. So that'll kind of be clearer if we break above the daily and the weekly all right so if we just break above here then we'll see what's going on now also yesterday i said remember if this bar closes above this one we'll have this okay so it didn't go any lower than this and this is um you know this is the line i drew yesterday and i said you know we need to be careful for this one for this line because it will close up here retest possibly go back up. So we could have this retested, which is 1803, which matches 4574 nicely, all right? And then move up. And that retest, if it happens, should happen in the US session. That's 17, 1800 hours my time, um, or possibly even 846 PM, all right? If, if that's the case, this is what this is what will happen. But you know, this is a new setup now. All right. But we talked about this yesterday, so no surprises. All right. So all you have to do is just follow through. And this was the low of the week. <clears throat> this will probably stay the low of the week, <clears throat> unless we, you know, unless we obviously break below with some, with some possible absurd situation, and. That might happen if anything like that is going to happen. Likely to happen either on a Thursday or a Friday, because Thursday again is a volatile day. And Friday also will be volatile, both in Asia and in the US sessions. All right, so be mindful of it. But I did give you guys a heads up on Sunday that we're going to have a volatile week if you're following. All right, so the goodbye kiss here is not a surprise because I did say we're going to, it's cooking, all right? And once you see this cooking here, okay, the goodbye kiss is cooking, it's cooked, okay? So this was a good place. A retest today in Asia <clears throat> was also good <clears throat> because astrologically as well, this was a buy spot. Okay, at 3.52 actually. And this is the three o'clock bar. So 3.52 was a good spot. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's going up from there on. So this is gold, right? Let's take a look at silver. With silver, I said, don't muck around, okay, yesterday, unless we get to a PST level. Now look. Once again, this is a new setup now. After this bar closed, we had this new setup here. On the daily, we've got divergence and we've come to all the targets. Okay, 
So this is a good spot to be picking up as well. All right. This is a good spot to be picking up. And as you can see, it's got energy. All right. It's got power moving forward. So what to do on silver? Let's do this. Let us. Don't need to do anything. Just wait. If you're going to trade silver, okay, this is a good buying level as it's done before. All right. So this is doable. Where to get in? Well, it's just above the daily. Okay. Any retest to the daily white line is good to go along with the stop loss under the, all right, under the low of the day. Let's take a look at SP500. Look, again, a good buy kiss situation. Once again, I said, look out for the good buy kisses. This is the monthly, weekly, daily, okay? Beautiful breakdown, good buy kiss. Bang, this is a good sell level. This was a good sell level, right on the line, okay? What to do with this today? <clears throat> We might go slightly higher. If it does touch the weekly, you got to go short. Okay. This is a breakdown. Okay. So what might we do here? We might have an A, B, C formation, or this could be A, B, C. Any, if it goes up here in short, if you want to sell this, do it on the weekly pivot. This is where you need to sell it. Okay. And that will also be a good bike is slightly higher, 4341, 4341 is there. So it'll probably touch that weekly period. If it does, you can short it there. Your stop loss should not be too far out. It should be above, let's see, it should be above 435594 or somewhere around here, okay? You don't need to extend it too far out. So that is um, a good one there, okay? This is a new setup on the daily and on the weekly. Look, it came to all the targets. If it pops up to this line here, that's also a good buy case. That's also doable. Will it go up that far? I don't know. But with the indices, as you know, we can play both sides of the line, all right? You could have also done this if you're watching SP 500, all right, if you're trading it, all you have to do is also do this stuff. Oops. This is your line here. Join one circle, just put the white square, put the white square inside the circle. Okay, there. And then trade off the line. Okay, so this is also this was also a good level there. All right, so trade off the lines or off the weekly pivot, follow it down. Let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Now with the Aussie dollar, let's refresh. Okay, so we've got a further breakdown. This is kind of going down slowly, slowly. Okay, and what to do with it? <clears throat> we have to wait, I reckon. Okay, yesterday I also said if it pulls up, you know, if it goes back up, sell it. All right, so don't sell it at a support level. Let it come up and then sell it off. And that's the right kind of direction you want to follow. <clears throat> You don't want to be selling it at the bottoms, at the bottom of yesterday or whatever, okay? And also selling when the market is coming down to these low PST levels needs caution. Don't just dive in there, okay? So where are we with this line? HCL1, 72.74. So we've got room to come down to this line, which is 72.74 on the weekly. So this could still come down here and it's logical and this will be a support level 
all right, on the weekly PST line. So that would be the first support, 72.74 on this. And we've come to all the PST targets on the monthly, 72.74, 72.37. Let's see if there's a 72.37 somewhere. Not here. And not said not here. Okay. You can keep it in mind, but this 72.74 region here is probably going to be the support of the week for this one. If it goes up and if you want to sell again, do it on the daily pivot. Uh, with a stop loss just above the high of today. Let's take a look at Oz 200. Now on this one, we talked about shorting last week from these lines here. As you can see, this is the daily and the setup has not changed. If it touches this line again, you should sell it. Okay, we're in a nice sideways market trade on the lines only don't trade in in the middle of nowhere all right let it come to you and then trade it off that's it otherwise you're going to be in trouble okay once again look weekly pivot is where they stop um, stalled off this is not a bad place to sell because weekly pivot we're aware of that level let's just make this a little like this okay so this is a normal place to sell as well you could always do that weekly pivot and then boom, set it down because that's where they sold off last week. Remember? Okay. So the market is not doing anything weird. If you draw your lines, okay, that's where they sold off and that's logical weekly pivot as well. Okay. However, though, just be mindful when you're entering those, um, those places, your stop loss shouldn't be too far out. You should just have a stop loss above this level here. Okay. So if the market pops its head, or you can do this, keep your stop loss above this level, but if your funds are limited, make sure your volume is low, All right? So if the market comes up here again, this is also a good level because that's the high of last week and it's worth selling. If you look at it, now we've got a new setup on the blue line here and on the weekly, we haven't made the target on the weekly, but we made these lines that we drew. Okay, so from bottom to bottom, if it goes below this dotted line and this one, you know this is game over, all right? So downwards trend will start if this breaks below, okay? And it will over time. How soon? I think this summer we should be doing it, okay? Um, because as you can see, not much happening for the past five, seven weeks here. One, two, three, four, five, six weeks. You see where we're hanging out. So not a lot of happening, not a lot of movement, nothing. So it's kind of lost its momentum. So if it's going to go short, it should be from these levels here. Okay, so every time it goes up, selling is the best option. But be mindful because we didn't draw these lines for nothing. So if they pop down, you know, you got to cover the trade, take partial profit or whatever, just manage the trade as they fall down. Let's take a look at the Euro dollar. Now with the Euro dollar, okay, so these levels we marked yesterday, I think we marked them yesterday. Okay, so once again, price levels here let's take a look at the weekly okay so that was the week's low of the week yesterday right so the market hung around here for a while it's still hanging around here i warned you about this line okay it's got potential to break because of the monthly right so the monthly is pushing down so i said if you want to sell it it's not a bad idea but wait for a pullback okay so yesterday okay this was when we would have done the video somewhere around there. So look, it pulls back and they sell it. It goes up, they sell it. And that's when you need to sell it. All right. So selling on these lines when the monthly has broken down is not a bad idea. It's just that selling is a good idea if it goes up. So 
you know, work on the goodbye kisses, work on falling back onto the resistance lines, because you know how to do this stuff, right? If, you, if you're following that trade, you've got a top there, you know you need to sell here. So today, you know you're selling here. That's it, white line, daily pivot, resistance, and it's going down. So same would have been with yesterday's, right? So yesterday we were there. All right, that's what you've got. Market makes a top here. They're either going to sell where they sold off before, okay? Which is right there. And I think the daily pivot was here or something like that. In any case, <clears throat> this is where they sold off. So if it pops its head back up, the white line and the resistance, you could have also sold this at the white line, no problem. But you have to put a stop loss above there, above these lines here. That would have worked out just as well. Okay, so selling on a pullback is your best option with less risk, and that's what the market likes to do. And also, look, every time they're selling these things, they're coming to 60 again. Remember, the 60 line is a good retracement line. So the market pulls back. Look, today is Wednesday. We talked about the, the weekly pivot. Market goes up to the weekly pivot, bang, sells again. And we talked about this being a buy level on Monday. So they buy here, they sell here, pulls back up, they sell here, pulls back up, they sell here. So this is now going to go further, further down. All right. So the best thing to do is just short it on pullbacks. And that is your safest bet. Okay. So be careful for New York openings. Um, in short, and today that's it. Be careful for New York opening 5 p.m. my time, 6 p.m. my time, and so on. All right, have a good one.